So let's talk about something re adding an image to your application. So this is a world application and I have an image. What I need to do is add a new image to give it to this label. So I'll add a multi image. Now a multi image is a special image that adapts itself based on the device density, it's DPI. So to show you how it works, let's just select quick add multi images and select this guy right here. And it asks us a strange question. The source resolution, and it doesn't give us resolution, it gives us all sorts of whether it's high, low. So this is a very high resolution DPI in this particular image. So we're giving it an image that, uh, that we expect to look good on a very high density device. Not an HD device, but very high, which means iPhone 4 or Galaxy Nexus or something like that. It has a 300 uh, points per inch or so and by the moment it infers that it will automatically scale the image to all the lower resolutions based on this proportion and to the higher resolutions so once I do that I, I just create an image and by the way you can create a regular image if you don't want to deal with that or any other type of image uh, we're flexible in that regard but the multi image is really really useful so if I go to this image, you will see that it's actually a much lower resolution because the first is the very low density. But if we go to the low density, medium, high, higher, this is the original image size. And the very high, you will notice that the image is scaled, but it's scaled really, really well. And that is because we used a very high quality scaling algorithm that isn't available on the devices themselves. Now you can also read more about multi-images right here, it's very interesting. But now we have an image right here, and it's very useful. So we can start by just uh, going, sorry, going back to the user interface, selecting the icon right here, and there we, have, we go, we have the image at the right DPI. This, you'll notice that this isn't a full-size image, because it matches itself to the selection we have right here in terms of the screen size. Uh, so that's all good and well. Now we want to see how it will, uh, whether we can load this image from code. So because having this right here is very useful. But say we want to load an image dynamically. We're going to use the same image for simplicity. But in this particular case, I'm going to give it a label loaded. And I'm going to call this label loaded label and I'm going to create an event of before show so we can actually do everything before the code happens and then we can fetch the image from the code so first thing we need the name of the image the name of the image is mobile user png so let's sorry Let's use the find. I need to delete this code. It's no longer relevant. Find B loaded label like this. And now we want to set its icon. That's all good and well. Now, where do we bring this image from? Well, fetch resources will bring us the resource file from which we extract everything. Because this is a GUI builder application, it's already in memory and we can just ask for it. And then we can get the image. And here we just give the name of the image, which, as we recall from here, is mobile user. Now, we can just click Control R or Meta R if you're on a Mac and copy and paste the name exactly. And now I can just... As you can see, this image right here was loaded, and this one was not. This one was hard-coded. So that's all for this tutorial today. Thanks for watching.